Hello friends! Today I just wanted to share a little piece of my workflow with you from Lightroom which has been really helpful for me in organizing my shoots and making sure I edit all the files that I need to and just in slimming down my workflow a little bit. So I love Lightroom because I can edit a ton of photos at once and I can do things like copy settings from one photo to the next instead of having to edit each photo individually. Um, I can see all of my photos down here on this little film strip um, so I get a quick glance of everything that's available to me and I can go through the photos quickly here. So I don't have to spend time opening each photo and then closing it and resaving it after I finish editing it and then starting on a new one. This helps me make my workflow a lot faster. So that's just a few of the reasons why I love Lightroom, but today I want to talk about one thing specifically that I love about Lightroom that has been really helpful for my workflow, and that is called flagging. So in Lightroom, you can flag and unflag images, and you can see which photos are flagged down here because they are highlighted with a white box around the image, and then there's a little flag in the left-hand corner. And I believe with some of the newer Lightroom versions, there's no flag in the corner, and it's just... A highlighted box like this but what I use flagging for is to slim down the amount of photos that I see and need to edit so this is actually how I call my images I call them in Lightroom and calling is basically just choosing the photos that you want to edit so um, as you can see here there are some unedited images that I have not flagged as you can tell down here they are not flagged because they don't have a flag in the corner they're not highlighted but then there are images like this that are flagged and that is saying, hey, I want to save this image and edit it later. So with flagging, what I typically do is I will go through a shoot, and you can see 4,000 photos is kind of a lot, and it's very overwhelming whenever you're going through wedding photos. So I will go through a shoot or a wedding, and I will flag the photos that I want to edit for later. And I'll show you why this is really important and how you can just view all of the flagged images and why that is so helpful. But Let's talk about how to flag first. Flagging is basically probably the easiest thing ever because you just scroll over an image. So as you can see, I'm using my left and right arrow keys to toggle through these. And if I like an image, say if I was like, oh, I want to edit this image, I you know, zoom in, it looks really good, I would want to flag it to edit. Um, so to flag a photo, the keyboard shortcut is P. And that, as you can see, flags it as a pick. It pops up and now it has this little flag in the left hand corner. Say I was going back through my images and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't really like that image anymore. You can also unflag the photo by clicking U. And that removes the flag. And as you can see, the flag in the left hand corner is gone. So, why is flagging so important? Like I mentioned before, flagging gives you the ability to streamline what you see during editing. So I'm going to scroll over one of my flagged images and now I'm going to come over here to filter and let's just pretend that I've called all of the images from the session. So I've chosen all the images that I want to edit but I don't really want to see the rest because they're kind of distracting and there are way too many of them. I would come over here to filter and as you can see there's a little box here, a drop down menu that says filters off. I would click on this and then, this is so amazing, click on flagged and as you can see, this um, film strip down here only pulled up the flagged images. So now I can only see the images that I want to edit. And this is just so great because now I don't have to worry about all those extra images. I can just see the really good ones and I can focus on those. So let's pretend, for example, I started editing this image and then I realized that it was out of focus. And I was like, crap, I have to pick a different image. So it's really easy to pull back up those other files. We actually just go um, back over here to filter. Again, as you can see right here, it says flagged. Um, so I would come over here and I would choose filters off under this drop down menu. And now it pulls up the rest of my photos. And then again, to go back, I would click on that filters off drop down box and then click flagged and then flagged is highlighted. So that is how you flag and unflag images, and that is how I use them in my workflow for Lightroom and editing in Lightroom. I hope that was helpful to you. I hope that gives you something to take away and to apply to your own workflow. 
and I hope you have a great day and happy editing.